the Taiko or magenta petrol remained a mystery for much of last century. Then in 1978, the incredible determination of one man paid off when he rediscovered this native seabird. The magenta petrel was a bird discovered and described by the Italians. It was never seen again. And uh, it was suggested that the magenta petrel and the tiger could be one and the same. And in 1952, I was able to go through many trays of middens of petrel bone from the Chathams, collected way back in 1880. The end result was we ended up with some bones that didn't match in any of the known species from uh, New Zealand and around the world, hence the mystery bird of the Chathams. I wrote to Harry Bly, whose home is just down across the country there, and he told me the story of the Tycho, a bird that had been around in his time from 1908 but quietly disappeared. But on the night of uh, 1st of January 1978, we were able to uh, confirm that, and the DNA of the Turin bird is exactly the same as the birds up around the main borough group there. What was it like for you the day that you rediscovered them? It uh, brought back uh, a great rush of energy and uh, questions, what, where to now? Because having found the bird, where did it nest? Because that's the critical part of a bird's life history, to be able to uh, burrow and uh, raise a chick for continuity in the population. That started at nearly uh, 10 years of work, which eventually led to the first burrow being located in uh, 1987. And there's still very much to be learned about the Tycho. And many of the Tycho have different facial patterns, uh, different amounts of white and flecks and things. So a bit like the orca, the way that has been sorted out, each individual orca is identified through some markings. So we hope to carry that through. So there's still a fair amount of work to do on the Tycho? Oh yes, yes. I don't think, I think there'll be many people working out here for many years to come. Tell me about the Tycho Trust. Tycho Trust is actually a body of interested people to support what David does, um, fundraising, the biggest, biggest thing, and also Tycho Trust was important in getting the funding for this fence. So we are a support network for what David does. It's great. It's four hectares of predator-free area and hopefully it's going to be a safe area for the taiko when he used to come. What about the Tuku bush? What's your association there? 1,029 hectares. It was gifted about 82 and fenced in 1984. Who gifted it? My father. Yeah, more my parents. The tale of David Crockett and his enduring search for the Taiko, as well as the dedication of locals like Bruce and Liz Tuanui, is an inspiration to us all.